Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of What's Corinna Cooking on my blog. So today I am making a quick and easy recipe for college students or anyone else who is looking to make something convenient with what you have in your fridge. So I am doing um, miniature pizzas with pita bread. I've already started prepping everything so I put olive oil on my little pita bread and I also put garlic powder and salt and pepper um, and I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So I'm going to pop those in there in just a minute and leave them in there for about 4 or 5 minutes or until they start getting a little crispy and golden brown. So for my toppings today I am doing bacon and I'm doing banana peppers. I'm recording on my laptop again so I apologize for the inconvenient angles but I've already cut up about two or three pieces of bacon and cut it up and started frying that up in the pan and then I also cut up some banana peppers. Probably got about a quarter cup there. I might add a little bit more. So while we're waiting on the pita bread in the oven, this is the pasta sauce that I use um, as, as the tomato sauce. And then I also use mozzarella cheese on top. Okay, so I've been waiting for probably 10 minutes now, so pita bread still isn't ready. While we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and make a Caesar salad kit. I eat these like once a week probably. They're really good, highly recommend them. Okay, so I've got my pita bread out of the oven and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna add the sauce and the cheese now and stick it back in the oven for a minute for that cheese to melt. So here's my sauce. I like a lot of sauce on my pizza. Here is my cheese. I also like a lot of cheese. And there is my bacon and banana peppers. So I'm just gonna pop that back in the oven for a minute or two and let it all melt together. And here is the finished product. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Be sure you check back in to my blog or my YouTube channel next week for episode four of What's Corinna Cooking. Like I said, this recipe is super easy and quick and cheap for all my college students out there or anyone who is just wanting to have a lazy night and make a quick dinner. As you can see by how short this video is, it took me, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to make and it's super delicious. So like I said, thank you so much for watching.